All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take like an image sequence like this and then convert it into a video. It's very simple and we're going to use Blender to do it. The reason why I'm doing this is because someone had that question and it's a very valid question. All right, I got Blender 2.82 open. All you do is come up here, click on this, change this to video sequencer and then right here you have the add button add image sequence and then I'll just navigate over to where I have uh, all those uh, images and I, I can just select the ones I want like just assume I want this one to this one I can just hold down the shift key and select all of that, those or I can just press A, the letter A, to select all of them. In this case, I'm just going to press A. And then click on Add. Now, it shows that I have 3,550. So I can go ahead and change this to 3,550. And I'm just going to shorten this up so it all fits. Do the same up here, and I'm just zooming out like I would with the... Uh, um, mouse wheel and then over here you go to the output and then you decide do you want it 30 frames per second or whatever set your output right here now the file format you need a video file format obviously and in this case I'm just going to use FMMPEG and then set the encoder to MPEG-4 and use H.264 forget medium quality always go for uh, either perceptually lossless or lossless lossless is going to be a huge file but perceptually lossless is going to look almost identical in almost every way unless you're right up close to the monitor and it's going to take up a whole lot less space so I generally use perceptually lossless and then the encoder speed I usually put on the slowest and that's pretty much it now you can go ahead and leave it set to no audio if you don't have any audio in it because there's no reason to add it if you don't have audio uh, this is 3350 not 3550 3350 now that looks right and then once you have all that set all you have to do is come up here again make sure you have your output set to the how you want it come up here to render and then click render animation and then it's going through frame by frame and you can see your frame count up here in the top left and it's building the, vi the video out of the individual images and then once you get done which I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this because it's going to take about five minutes. Now if I, once this is done, now that it's done, now I need to point out one more thing I forgot to mention before. Um, up here, make sure you set this to the size of your frame because it doesn't automatically adjust because if you had this set to some odd size it will stretch these frames to that new size so just make sure you have a set and if let me go to the output right here and here you see the video it's gonna default name it to the uh, frame range like in this case it's frame 1 through 3350 so that's the name of the output 174 megabytes so it's not overly compressed by no stretch of the imagination and it's decent quality of course it's over on my other screen but that's pretty much how you go about it if you have any questions let me know and I will try to answer later people